Nancy's kitchen is orderly and lovely, a testimony to the woman whom it belongs to. As a fan of intricate detail, she also loves to perform complex tasks. Today's is making a cherry pie. One can of cherry juice goes down the drain, and the other goes on the stove, to be added to other ingredients to create a sort of gelatinous syrup that will create the filling for the pie. Nancy is a lively cook, bustling cheerfully about the kitchen as she creates her masterpiece. A masterpiece she has created again and again, for this woman is no stranger to beauty and good food. The syrup must be stirred constantly as it thickens, or it will stick to the pan. It takes such a long time that Nancy finds this part of the process to be quite boring. When it is ready, Nancy adds the cherries to it and stirs them in. Nancy leaves the pie filling to sit on the stove and moves on to making the pie crust from scratch using a special family recipe. Nancy prefers to use lard as opposed to a petroleum-based product because she says she prefers recently dead pig to long dead dinosaur. As she mixes the ingredients, she explains to me how a solid and a liquid can appear to be joined. Nancy has a thorough understanding of the science of baking, but also an intuitive sense of the materials. For her, it is a science and a magic. She uses a pastry cloth when baking. It is made of thick cotton and is not washed, so with each new thing she bakes, it accumulates another layer of flour, making it amazingly soft to the touch. Because she is so experienced, Nancy does much of her baking by feel, as opposed to simply following recipes. For her, it's less so about measurements than interacting with the ingredients. She splits the freshly kneaded dough in half. One will be for the base of the pie, and the other will be for the top. She bakes pie not only to delight her friends and to test her skills as a baker, but because it has personal significance as well. With her baking, she honors her family by using their recipe, as well as the history of her land, because she considers pie to be the truly American dessert. After laying the dough in the pie dish, she uses shears to cut off the excess. Nancy cut the rest of the dough into thin strips and is using them to weave a latticework on top of the pie. This takes a great deal of skill, concentration, and deftness of hand. By the time she is finished, the entire surface of the pie will be covered in the latticework. This type of pie crust is a challenge to bakers, and thus clearly displays Nancy's great skill. With the weaving done, Nancy pinches the edges of the pie so that the dough stays together as it cooks. She then uses a feather to spread cream over the pie crust to help it brown. The feather is the only thing soft enough to not break the dough. She sprinkles some spice, and of course some sugar, and then the pie is ready to bake. For however long Nancy feels it will take for it to be done, she is so in tune with her pie that she does not even need to use the timer, although she does. She will serve it for dessert, and all her guests will marvel at her perfectly crafted cherry pie.